and five days since the tragic collapse of Morbi Bridge in Gujarat, all search operations have been now officially stopped. All the teams, rescue teams, rescue and search teams have been directed to leave for their respective bases with immediate effect. Joining us for more on this is my colleague Tanushri Pandey. Tanushri, uh, what is the situation on the ground? Are there no more missing complaints? What are the officials talking about? Uh, what could have been perhaps concerns over unaccounted bodies uh, by some? That's right, Sneha. If I just a short while back, uh the relief commissioner, the fire service chief, and the collector of Morbi, uh, they held a press conference and they declared that the, rest, uh, that the search operations and the recovery operations in River Machu, where uh, in, in, in Morbi, where the bridge, suspension bridge collapsed on Sunday, that has been officially declared over. Uh, this is it, it, it's after four days that the administration finally took this call. There were uh, there was uh, there was an apprehension that there can be more dead bodies under the muddy water unaccounted for people, but the, finally the administration said that we do not have a single missing, missing persons report. And yes, it's a, when we categorically ask them as to if they are 100% sure about it, that there cannot be any dead body under the, under the bridge, uh, sorry, under the water, under the river, uh, you know, river bed. Uh, the, the administration said, uh, Sneha, that this was an accident and if, uh, you know, there is any dead, dead body which is trapped and it comes out after months, in that case, we, we cannot say, but as far as our search operations are concerned, our divers are concerned, we are so most uh, certain that there is no dead body trapped inside the uh, riverbed or uh, the muddy water. So that is what they are uh, saying as of now. But we definitely met a person, uh, you know, who came to the accident site saying that uh, his family member is still missing. The rescue, in fact, the relief commissioner took the details of that man uh, to verify all these details. So, yes, the situation on the ground right now is that all the, as you rightly mentioned, all the teams, uh, the search operation teams and the defense units have been asked to return to their bases where they needed effect. The place has been uh, now uh, asked to be vacated. Uh, and as of now, the death toll stands at 135. Uh, 100, more than hundreds were injured. This was more, one of the most intense uh, search operations which we have ever seen in our country in the recent times. Uh, but... Uh, your question about, you know, if there can be more unaccounted for dead bodies, uh, if that answer is still not being answered by the administration right. uh, clearly, but they are saying that they are most certain at this point of time that there is no dead body under the muddy water which can be trapped.